So it's going to be WTA or trophy? Uh, trophy. 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 Oh, sir. sir, have a good match. Goff holding serve is just her eighth game lost. Only one other player has done better, and she's played less tennis. Oh, oh big. <laughs> that was a bullet. This match so far, Coco just uh, really tactical. Four consecutive sets lost, and as many played to the former world number one. Another sturdy effort. It's Halep who's showing signs of aggression of her own moving through the court. Ah, that's nifty. And that's a lesson learned from earlier when she missed that drop shot that had Halep. Yeah, I think she's more comfortable in the backhand drop shot than the forehand drop shot, so that helped. But that was very well. The third set became a lesson in resilience for Coco. For the third time, it manages to move through with a comfortable hold. Any time for the opponent to get organized. Very decisive by Coco. Where she wanted to go. Simone on the next point. Yeah, you have to be careful any time that you leave a ball a little bit mid-court. You know she's going to attack that, taking on the rise right here. It's on the unforced errors that, of course, Goff is much higher with eight against three so far. Goodness me, wow. Is it rearing its head? Well done. long and Halep has the opening set well it was an exciting and entertaining 38 minutes in their third meeting Coco Goff just coughing up her serve four errors in the break in game number nine and Halep does the deal five straight sets and as many played against Coco Goff one set separates her from the quarterfinals in Madrid execution and it costs her Simone Halep the beneficiary Goff serving to start set number two Sixty-three, sixty-four percent of first serves will be great for, really, for Coco Golf.
This is what, the third or fourth time that she comes forward in these two opening games. That's telling the change of tactic right here. And well done by Goff. She strikes a blow. She showed a tremendous amount of poise to the 18-year-old in her match against Putinsova, especially in that third set. Her father was telling her, come on, fight. She said, I am fighting. It was an emotion. You're looking at your stat going, she has 100% pressures. No, I, I believe it when you say it. <laughs> like it's 100% of the points in this game as well. Off, you just get the sense her stability mentally hangs here in the balance. And there you go. That's some resolve for the teenager, youngest player in the WTA top 100. And it's 30 for the 30-year-old. Her 30th match win in Madrid. And she seeks a fifth final in 2022 at this WTA 1000 mandatory event. It's another master class down the stretch as Simona Halep remains perfect and continues to hold sway over Coco Golf. Comes back from a breakdown to win the last five games. Moves through to the quarterfinals for the sixth time in her career with a 6-4, 6-4 win in an hour and 17 minutes.